Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to build a simple inventory in our controllers, a new C sharp called inventory controller. And an inventory controller will inherit from mono behavior and will have one public I a public list of item stacks and I call this inventory what we want to do is whenever a player clicks the button this get item function will call inventory controller and will add the item to the item stack and if the item stack already has that item it will increase the amount well in order to do that the first thing we are going to do is create a item stack constructor and to do that is very simple just go public item stack and it has an requires an item and it requires an amount and here we are going to do this dot item equals the item we get and this dot amount equals the amount we get so this creates an item stack. Simple as that. In our inventory controller, in order for us to access it from this class, this item controller, we are going to do a simple thing which is an instance. And to do that we go public static inventory controller and we call it instance. For this to work we can go into the void start method that unity comes up with and we can go the um, instance equals this but this can often lead to problems if we have multiple instance we can only have one instance every time so we can do a little check here if instance is different than null that means we already have an instance, so let's return, because we cannot have more than one. So with this, we can create here a new method that adds an item to our inventory. And let's go public void add item to inventory. And this will require an item stack. And let's call it stack. Well, with this, we can go into our item controller and we can say listen inventory controller instance add item to inventory and let's create a new stack or a new item stack in this case with the item that we got from our randomly generated one and the amount for now can be one. Well. In order for us to add an item to an inventory, the first thing we have to do is check if the item is already there. So let's create a boolean that is keeping track if we have an item in our inventory. So let's call it has item and let's default it to false. Now let's loop through all the items in our inventory. So for each item stack i in inventory we are going to make a check so if the item stack the item that the item stack refers to the name is the same as the stack we are trying to add the name of it this ensures that the, that item is already in on inventory so if that's the case we can go i dot amount plus equals the stack dot amount so this is making sure that we have an item and for that to work we can do has item is now equals to true and now after the for each runs we can go if has item and invert it with the exclamation mark so if we do not have that item in the inventory we can go 
inventory dot add the stack and this little um, method can add an item to an inventory or if the item is already there it can increase its amount and now for the visuals let's kick in the time lapse talking in my sleep at night making myself crazy Save me Well, this is looking pretty good as it is. We are going to create two variables. The first one being a public transform for our scroll list. And the second one being a public game object for our item prefab. Well, with this, if we run the game, we are always going to see a new item popping up but if we have a duplicate like 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 now we got the electronics it won't change the number here to a two so you can see we can only get one and in order for us to fix that if the item is already there we are going to go game object go is equals to the scroll list dot find and we are going to find a name and that name is item dot name and that's why here we change the name of the game object that we instantiate to the name of the item in game and now we can go um, game object i think yes so okay, this is going to find that game object so we can go game um, text prefab text is e equals to the same thing as this so let's just copy and paste no need to type that all and the only text we want to change is the first one so just copy this and paste it there let's go ahead and run this and if everything is correct we are going to see changing amounts and new items popping up so let's go get item we get copper and we get copper again and as you can see this number changed get sensor so yeah we've just reached the end of this episode as you can see we have a pretty nice game at the moment and in the next episode we are going to take a look on how we can manage panels with the game 
and as you can see this is working pretty cool so yeah if you enjoyed this video please leave a like subscribe to the channel for more content and as always thanks for watching